Hi everyone, I'm Tony, this is SV Tabatia and we are building a cruising sailboat, a 32 foot cruising sailboat, um, junk rigged schooner, which means two masts, two sails, um, and it's in process. And it's summer and, and trying to use this good weather that we've got now for, for getting paint and varnish on and, and that really has been what this week has been about to a large extent. That started off in the, in the forepeak, um, getting up in there got that now completely varnished out, the wood trim, the mahogany trim throughout the four feet, shelves both sides and trim all around, um, six coats of epiphanes on that, looks great I think, and uh, here's, a bit, here's a clip of a bit of varnish yoga. Next thing was to finish off this lazarette hatch, which you can see in position. It's, it's only laid in position, but, but it's there. Um, varnished up, finely shaped, all done, finished. We're going to have two hinges on the aft end of it, located in position. It will hinge like this, and there'll be a catch. There'll be a catch at this front end probably with a screw on it that keeps it shut down, so no danger of it flying open. Don't want it to. Um, yeah, but that's in position. I've got the hinges. I don't think I've got the catch. I must look through my box of bits and bolts, but we've got the hinges. Fitting it soon. That'd be exciting. Looks nice. And more finishing, or moving towards finishing. Not only the fore peak, but the entire inner cabin has been given a final clean up. And as we stand, all of the wood trim has one coat of varnish on it. Got a few more coats still to go, but it's in progress. I should try to get another one on today. And it's already looking quite glossy. Nice. Yeah, I'll stand out of the way. It's getting a bit of gloss about it. From one coat, that's amazing. So we're in here by the sliding hatch and, and this was a major thing. 
I've been varnishing it for a while because you've got to varnish the underneath and the top. It's nearly finished, maybe one or two coats still on the top. The underneath is finished. And I've got the acrylic glass in the two panels. So that's 10 millimeter thick acrylic. And I've glued it in with, with CT1. Put it in with CT, CT1, which is this stuff here. I'll hold it up to the camera. Claims to be incredible. Over here, started on the washboards, got some varnish on, a coat or a couple of coats of varnish, painting the panels out. 
let's see, that is the outside. So that one, this side will be white, and I shall do this with epoxy primer and white. This side, undercoat here, will be the sort of off-white that the inside is. So that matches the outside and that matches the inside. It's, <laughs> if you can imagine, it's a ridiculous lot of paint. That regular undercoat and then the gloss, varnish obviously. This side, epoxy primer and then the, the polyurethane two part white paint. So, right. <laughs> it's silly, you know, they're not a big part, but it takes a long time to, to finish something like that. Finished but not finished. And you'll remember a few weeks ago, Hazel went off on, a, on a, an adventure with her boat and uh, she had a little bit of an issue with her anchor ball. They're, they're quite keen on doing things properly in this part of the world. and, and uh, Anchor ball is something you're supposed to fly when you're anchored during daylight hours, you know. And uh, anyhow, so she bought an anchor ball and flew it indeed when she was anchored, but um, the, she put it up on a flag line and, and uh, it broke the flag line, which unfortunately then the anchor ball then got twisted around um, some lines up at the top of the mast. She pulled it up quite high and got twisted around and she couldn't get it down again so she ended up coming back to her home port with the anchor ball up um, and we went up last weekend didn't we last weekend we went up yeah. and gave her a hand to get it down which was fun All the time you're happy, they just rest when you feel like it. Yeah, I can see the progress, you're doing well. And that's it for this week. Finishing but not finished. A lot more finishing to do. And it needs to be done in this in this lovely summer, dry summer weather. So next few weeks I'll be pushing on with finishing. I've got various deck fittings laid around on the deck to, to put in. I've got some, some fair leads to go in the bulwarks. So I've got cleats to go on. I've got cockpit drains to fit. Um, so hopefully we'll be getting on with some of that next week. Um, and a lot more finishing, I dare say. Thank you for watching. And uh, give us all that and that and, you know, See you next time. Bye. Rich as the sunset, stand up, see. Tell me where you're going so decisively. What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound. Is about running free before the breeze. Are there many days such as Sunset and Charlie Waters bound, breaking through the tethers that kept you firm aground. Just go.